Morning everyone. So in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Two of the boys that live with us have got a birthday this week. So I thought it might be nice to attempt. I say attempt because I am following another YouTube video, which I'll share with you and link down below. It is on a channel and she has invited Juliet Sear to do a rainbow cake. I've never done this one before, so I'm just gonna try it out. So let's get into it. Got my tea at least. So I've got all the equipment out I think that I need from watching the video and I've written out some instructions and I've got all the equipment, hopefully, that I'm gonna need along the way. My scales. I've got all my storage with all my baking gear in. I did all this in lockdown actually, just organised the store cupboard and got my cake stand, got some extra flour at the back and some extra icing sugar. And then I got these napkins to wrap the cake in uh, later and they are from Tesco's. And I can't really actually remember where these were from. I've got a feeling they might have been Lakeland. Nice shiny candles. And then I've got these cake boxes for the parents to take, hopefully a piece of cake home, if this works out. They cook cake boxes, but I'm hoping that they're gonna be a little bit bigger and they are from B&M. Let's pop the oven on at 180 fan oven. So the reason why I chose this video to watch and give me an idea of what to do for the rainbow cake, are you tilted? I tried to get some idea of where, I think you're still tilted. Okay, I'm gonna leave it as it is, should I? But the video that I've chosen to look at, as I said, I will link it down below, is that it just inspired me. There was plenty, there were plenty of, of rainbow cake recipes and videos out there but this one really stuck with me and so and it's all about trying to get this done today 650 grams of butter at room temperature so i've had the easy, butter out to soften in here so let's go with weighing out butter i like to use stalk which is something my nana always used to use next up is 650 of caster sugar and then I'm also going to do some vanilla bean paste. There we go, self-raising flour. Then I've got my baking powder so hopefully that's right. <laughs> my butter and sugar and I am going to just plug in my pan mixer. I'm actually just going to whiz up the butter first and then I'm going to add my caster sugar. I love that bowl, my mum gave me that. I love that. Okay, this is what we've got. Vanilla paste. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh. Okay, next up, after we've mixed in the paste, we want to be adding, I've got 13 eggs in this jug here, so I'm going to be adding a bit of that each time. As you can see that I'm looking over here at the video. So, okay, next is getting the self-raising flour. I'm just going to tip my baking powder in there and then I'm going to be flour into my main mixture. Hello, what are we looking for? Do you want a little treat? Yeah, let's get you one. Now that all the flour is mixed in, what we need to do next, the colours out. Okay, so we're going to be using an eight inch tin, cake tin, and you need to put 500 grams of batter in 
each of these five bowls because we are going to have five colours. I know it's a rainbow cake, but we are going to use five colours. So I've just popped in my baking parchment in the bottom and then I have just got a little bit of butter around the side. Check out Juliet's advice about putting the lining out for the cake tin. It's a really good little tip and I definitely did it. So I'm just gonna pop those in there. Okay then, so because I'm using an eight, well, two eight inch tins, we are supposed to be putting in 500 grams of batter in each bowl. And I've got my paste food color pack of eight, which I just got from Amazon, is green, red, yellow, purple, and blue. How are we all doing over there? Are we keeping up? Hopefully this will be a recipe that you could try as well at some point. I know it's a bit different to my usual textile videos that I do, but why not? It's another creative outlet, isn't it? So we're just gonna put a little bit of each paste into here. Apparently you do have to use these strong paste colors because they come out a little bit watery, so Hopefully, that's my green. Okay, so I've got all my colors and I'm just gonna mix in this one. Wow, that's bright. That's nice and strong, I like that. Okay, here's the first two. Let's pop those in the oven at 180. Let's go. 20 to 25 minutes, they say. The green, I'm just gonna tip that out. The blue and purple have just come out and I'm just letting those cool off from the cooling rack. I do bake cakes, not that often. I should do because I thoroughly enjoy it. It's definitely one of the ways that I relax. But this is a little bit more fancy today. One of the boys is turning 16 and the other one is turning 14. So I'm just doing like a collaborative cake. They requested this one, although I'm not sure they know that I'm gonna give it a whirl. I used to really enjoy doing food at school. And now, obviously I've just got the opportunity to cook way more over the last couple of years with the boys living with us. We started off with one, then we've got two boys and now we've got three. We love it so much that we would possibly take a fourth boy. But yeah, fun thing to do. Yeah, it's a great, great job to do, which complements my other work, which I've talked about before. So there we go. Yellow done. So I have done 750 grams of butter and next I'm going to do, I've got quite a few boxes of this, but next I'm going to do 1,500 grams of icing sugar and mix these together for the buttercream. So it didn't say in the video how much buttercream to make, so I've done a little bit of my own research. And I'm hoping this is gonna be enough. If it's not, then I'll have to just make some more. Oh my God, it's 
can be guys. Okay, I've just tested the middle with my skewer and now I'm just gonna just leave these for a couple of minutes to cool down. We've got a little friend underneath here. Board. It's actually bigger than the turntable there. What you need to do is grab your palette knife, grab a little bit of your buttercream, which I've just had in the fridge. We're just going to pop it onto your cake board in the middle. You're going to get your eight inch cake board, same size as my sponges. And then I'm just going to pop that in the center. I'm going to put a little bit of buttercream, spread it all over. layer here and I'm finding this kind of technique quite tricky if I'm honest with you so you press it down and you're moving it around the cake although I don't think my technique's looking too hot. Oh my layers on and I'm putting on first coat using my side scraper just to get that flat before I put it into the fridge and we leave it in the fridge for half an hour. Okay, this is just coming out of the fridge now. And next what we've got to do is use the rest of the buttercream and go over the sides and the top. And then we're also going to be adding some little flecks of these colours that we've used in the layers. And I'll show you how it finishes off. is we're going to do a small amount of colours. This will be interesting. And on the top. Okay, so I've got my wet side scraper and I'm just going to go around this once. Okay then, that is it. So I've put some candles in the cake and I'm hiding it in the art room. <laughs> but I'm just looking over here at the graffiti that I've done before. Just looking how that kind of like compliments, isn't it? The cake. Hope you like it. Mm -hmm.